Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality. In this video, we're going to go over the anatomy of a basic Cypress test. So let's jump right into this then. I'm going to uh, load up the Cypress app just so we can see the test running while we're doing little changes so it makes a little bit more sense for us. So I'm just going to go into this wait for the config to be initialized, we'll use Electron, and we just want to select the test that we're looking at today, which is one anatomy. So that's here, basic test. Brilliant. So what you'll see at the moment, this test is going to Google, it's clicking the accept button on the cookies, and then it's asserting that the search box is visible. There we are, should click accept and then make sure that it's visible. Perfect. So that's what the test is doing. So let's break it down then. Looking at this then, first of all, we have a describe and describe is just a way of grouping your tests. Now I have another video coming up on grouping, so I won't go into much details, but this comes from Mocha and uh, you can replace describe with context as well. They're two different aliases for it. So if I save that and open the test, it runs the same with context, just a way of grouping your tests. And then nested inside this are our tests. So here I have specify, which is an alias for it. Once again, coming from marker. So if I just save that and run, we should see we now have the test running using the it alias. And all this is, is a test declaration. And inside it, we say in what the name of the test is. So in this case, I've just named it my first test. And then we've got a callback function with uh, all of the test code inside. Now I'm going to change this back to describe because when I'm writing my tests, I like to stick with describe in it. And this is what I commonly see as well. So my grouping is going to be called describe and my single test is going, or my test declaration is going to be named it. Let's go into the test instructions or the actual code. So simply, sci.visit is saying visit a URL. It's plain English there, where it's just saying I want to go to the Google web page. Next up then, we have sci.get. And what this is doing is getting your document object model elements by the given selector. In this case, the uh, selector is an ID, which is just the accept button. And we are saying we want to accept, I think it's the cookies, accept all the cookies by its ID. And then we say and perform a click action on that element to actually say accept the cookies, which if I go into the test, that's exactly what we do in here. It's saying, okay, get me that uh, locator, which is accept all, and then perform the click on it. And that's what it does and then it finishes and it goes away from there and last but not least then we have the assertions and uh, with this assertion we once again say in okay get me a document object model element on the page in this case it's just the um, search box and we are saying let's make sure it's visible and here where we say in dot should this uh, uh, assertion is allowing us to confirm what we expect to happen is true in this case like i say it's just as simple as checking the search bar is visible on the page now i should say cypress cypress uses the chai library or the chai assertion library as well as having st extensions on top for synon and jquery what makes cypress a little bit more unique from traditional testing tools is that the commands will automatically retry the assertions as well and more of this is going to come in a, in a specific assertion video but that's one good thing to uh, make note of is kind of like if you used to play right test where you have web first assertions cypress are doing the exact same thing and that's basically it what we've just gone through here is an anatomy of a test a quick example of how you can kind of group the test inside a describe block. We talked about the aliases. One thing I would say, and I'll put a link to this uh, documentation in the description, is definitely have a read of this because then it'll give you a list of everything you can do and all the extension methods as on top of it. It's really powerful. It's really useful. Next video, I'll more than likely be going through grouping. Uh, I'll talk about assertions as well. And after that, if you have any comments or any questions, please drop something below and I can make future videos on these. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.